The carbon tax package has received an icy reception from the local refrigeration industry. As Nick Way reports, there are fears small companies will be forced out of business. This bottle of common fridge gas cost $788 last week. Under the carbon tax, it's now more than $2,000. A jump Ed Cass says will leave customers and businesses out in the cold. Huge increase and the end consumer will pay for that, which will be passed on as part of the running costs for that business. Gas to recharge an average home air conditioner was $60. Expect to pay $120 from now on. Some refrigerant costs are up tenfold. The coolants hit with extra federal levies because they're the most damaging of greenhouse gases. And the government wants price hikes to cut their use. But they're all imported and the industry says there's no compensation for local businesses. It's the consumer that's being punished for a product that's made available to it's a, they've got no control over. The government says increases to refrigeration costs have been factored into its household assistance package, but the industry estimates regas and repair bills across the country will soar by an extra $300 million. Does the Prime Minister expect cool store owners, food distribution centres, refrigeration air conditioning contractors and the fishing industry to absorb this massive increase. These are only uh, used intermittently, not as a continuous cost. It's claimed the increases will freeze out small refrigeration companies. The air conditioning industry is being penalised dramatically and it's going to be very, very difficult for some of our industry members to recoup the money that we're actually being asked to pay out. The greenhouse gas levy, just one of many carbon tax rises, putting upwards pressure on the cost of living. Nick Way, 10 News.